Amen. 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 You know, I work in property and you got the gut things out. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. I'm bringing you some good Holy Ghost demolition today. God wants some new prime real estate to bring to him. That's but right. Before he bring up that property, he, he, we got to first be gut out. Gut out. <laughs> torn down. Amen. Do you hear this? Jeremiah chapter 1 and at verse 10. That's what? See, I have this day. See, I have this day. Set me over the nation. Over the nation. And over the kingdom. To do what? To root out. You got to come to church to get rooted. Rooted. Root out. You got to get rooted out. You know, when you want that plant to die, just stop cutting at the top and go to the roots. That's it. Pull the whole thing up. That's right. Everything in us that's not like God, let the word of God pull the whole thing up. Amen. Uh -huh. And to pull down. Pull down. Down. That which rejects the counsel of God, pull it down. Pull it down. Mm -hmm. And to destroy. Destroy it. And to throw, throw it down. down. To build. Wait a minute. Now, after all that is done, after the destruction is done, what follows? To build and to plan. Your mind must be thrown down, yes, sir. destroyed. And yes. now God wants to build something there. To build. That's why many people are lost. Come to church, come to church for years, That's and right. never get it together. That's right. Never get it together spiritually. Never get it together spiritually. Why? Right. The mind is not there yet. That's it. They go through the motions of getting on their knees. Yeah. And now, gang got praying mind, it gets down there because everybody else is down there. That's right. Mind is not there yet. That's right. Go to church on church night, but not there when they get there. Why? That's right. Mind is not there yet. So then with the mind. Do you hear it? Back in Romans 7 and verse 25. So then. With the mind, I myself serve the law of God. That's why many of you don't have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Your mind is not linked to heaven yet. That's right. Your mind must get linked. Oh, they got on the, that's what it is written. They was with one accord. One accord. In one place. That's right. Now hold it. One place. It's not just now down being in the same room. No. Don't ever look at one place as just being in the same room. Right. When you are in one place, you could be in five different rooms, and yet everybody is in one place. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. For when the mind and the heart is unified with the mind and the heart of God, That's it. then you become in one place. One place. That's truly being on one accord. That's it. When my mind agree with the word and my heart agree with the word, it causes my body to react out what I agree to. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's it. Are you listening? I thank God. I thank God. Through Jesus Christ our Through Lord. Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind. With the mind. I myself serve the law of God. So how is your mind? How is it? How is it? Are you trying to decide whether to stay in church or go out? Yeah. Are you on the verge of backsliding? That's right. Why the serpent? Glory to God is calling around your mind. That's right. Do you find yourself anointing your head to fast? Change your mind. Not your head another day. Change your mind. Not your head another day. Change your mind. What? Satan is doing everything in his power to rob you of participating in your obedience to God. That's right. That's right. Are you too close to a sinner? Mm. At the sinner have influenced your mind until his actions and his thoughts have contaminated your loyalty. That's right. Until you're scared to give him up or her up, but you're not scared to give God up. Right. How is your mind? How is your mind? Who have it? Who have it? Where is it? That's right. What's possessing it? Yeah. How long 
did they have it? That's right. What are they doing with it? What location is it in? That's What's right. left of it? How much of it do you have? How much been taken? Mm. What been taken? What's been done with it? And what's been taken? Where is it? Where is it? And after they took it, you don't know where it's at. How much is left in you? That's true. And whatever's left in you, how much of that God belong? It belongs to God. That's right. Go ahead. Man. Who have your mind? Who have? Who have? What has your mind? Yeah. Are you listening? Let go from the mortal thoughts. Turn it loose. Back in Second Exodus fourteen and verse fourteen. Glory to God. That's it. What did he say, son? Let go from the mortal thoughts. Let go from the the carnal mind. Cast away the burdens of man. Do what? Cast away the burdens of man. You know, Brother Minister Gary, by God's permission, preached an excellent message last night. But nobody can receive the Holy Ghost until they mind stayed on Jesus. That's right. That mind is what bring heaven close to you. Closer. And that mind can bring the devil close to you. That's right. Choose you this day right. whom you're going to serve. Right. How sound is your mind? Yeah. Are you skipping and going to false churches through the week? Right. That's right. That's right. Holy Ghost said, double minded man. A double minded man is unstable. Yeah, 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 hear this. In St. James chapter 1 and verse 8. Listen. A double minded man. A double minded man. A unstable man. Is unstable. How much? In all his ways. Hallelujah. All his ways. Are you so close to someone in church? They done coerce you to go false church shopping with them. Yeah. False church shopping. That's right. Whatever service night we don't have no church, you go false church shopping. That's right. And then they tell you it's all right. It's all. Yes, they will. Even though the words say come out from among them, your mind said go among them. Go among them. Why? My friends is there. My family is there. And the Bible says come out, but your mind said go in. That's right. Double minded. Double minded. Are you listening? A double minded man. God is a God of one mind. That's right. And in order to give God service, his church got to have his mind, which is one. One. You got one mind, you'll see one God. Double minded, you got to see more than one. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? A double minded man. A double minded man. Is unstable. In how much? In all his ways. That's why in church, out of church, believe, don't believe. Don't believe. Double minded. Double minded. Double minded. Jumping and shouting and running all over the place, and then when they sit down, they hear something they don't believe. That's true. That's true. The Bible says no man can serve two masters. That's right. You're going to hate one and love the other. The other. When you sit in church with the carnal mind, you hear the word of God you are receiving in of a spiritual mind. That's right. And the spiritual mind of God that come to the form of scripture come to battle, fight, destroy, cast out the carnal mind. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. What? Because in Romans chapter 8 and verse 7. The carnal mind is enmity is at odds. Against God. It's a conflict between you and God. That's right. What's the problem? It is for it is not subject, it's not subject to the law of it God. Won't Submit and then what? Neither, Neither indeed can be. Indeed can be. So then they that yeah. are in the flesh. That's why your stubbornness lasts so long. So long. That's right. Your unbelief in scriptures lasts 
last so long. That's right. Carnal, carnal mind. You try to approach the Bible with logic. Yeah. You try to approach the Bible with your carnal thoughts. That's right. Fail to realize the book is a book of mystery. That's right. Can't read the Bible like a little storybook. No. It's two mysteries in the book. Yeah. Not one. Oh, yeah. It's two mysteries. Two forms of mysteries in the book. Great is the mystery of godliness and the mystery of iniquity. Of iniquity. Are you listening? In 2 Thessalonians chapter Glory 2 and verse God. 7. Great is the mystery of godliness and the mystery of iniquity. That's right. Let you know there's a mystery tied to both spirits. That's right. Are you getting me, Williams? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. There's a mystery tied to both spirits. To both spirits. And both spirits have the titles of beasts. Yes. I said both spirits, I said, have the title of beasts. Oh. The voice of God is heard like a roaring lion. Roaring lion. Satan said, I walk as a roaring lion. That's right. Jesus calls a lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Go hallelujah. 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 And hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, man. One lion is against the other. Go ahead, brother. One lion got more of a biting force than the other. Go ahead, take God. Go ahead. Eh? One lion is king of the universe. The other lion, this is his domain. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Hallelujah. Listen. James 1 and verse 8, a double-minded man. Is Examine yourself tonight. Yeah. If you got a double mind, double when it's time to take your Lord's Supper, you double mind it, get away from the table. Get away. Get away. Double mind it, don't even wash feet. Mm. Something in that Bible you don't believe that God says you got to obey, don't even get on the choir. That's right. That's right. Something in that Bible you don't believe that God said you got to obey. Don't even sing a solo. Amen. Go ahead. Something in that Bible you don't believe that God said. Don't even give a testimony. That's right. That's right. Something in that Bible you don't believe. How can you pray to how a can? God you don't believe? In? That's right. Someone said, but I believe in God. That's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. How can you believe in God and disbelieve his word? That's God right. said he's the word. He's the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So if I don't believe the word, I don't believe God. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why are you listening? A double-minded man is anything in the scriptures. Amen. You don't understand? Never fight it. Never fight it. Doesn't matter how hard it is. Doesn't matter how it make you feel. That's right. Don't ever fight it. That's right. Don't ever even say it's not true. Yeah. Don't ever say it can't be can't this be. way. Don't ever say I can't see it like that. It ain't for you to see it no type of way. That's right. Let God be your eyes and let God be your understanding. That's it. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful. Let God. He said, consider what I said. Consider what I said. That's right. I never heard that before. I don't make it, that don't mean it's not true. No. Glory to God, the days of Noah, they never heard it was going to rain before. But it still was true. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. What did he say? A double-minded man. Look at your mind. Amen. 
Are you trying to decide whether to stay in church or out? I'm trying to decide. Are you weighed in the balance? Yeah. And found wanted? Yeah. What is your want? That's right. Do you want him more than you want God? That's right. That he can make you miss church? That's right. Do you want her more than you want God? Yeah. That he or she can get you off your knees from time for the Holy Ghost? Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of the Listen city. at the prophet Hosea. In Joel chapter 3. Joel chapter 2. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. Beg your verse part. 14. Uh -huh. Multitudes. How much? Multitudes. How much? Multitudes. A whole lot of folk. Where are they, William? In the valley of decision. <laughs> That's right. You're in the valley of decision. Of decision. Of decision. But, but what's still happening? For the day of the Lord is near. The day of the Lord is still close. In the valley of decision. Why you trying to make up your mind what to do? That's right. That's right. Multitudes. 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 What if God didn't say how many? Glory to God, glory to God, and just say multitudes. Multitudes. Amen. I don't want to be in that multitude. Not in that. No way. Are you trying to decide? Amen. Do you get around your friends at the job, sister, and wear pants, and then come to church? With a dress. You got two different wardrobes. That's right. That's right. Amen. Brother, do you got two different wardrobes? Yeah. Well, what you wear out there, you would never wear to church. That's right. Double minded. Double minded. Amen. God says he's coming as a thief. No thief warn you before his arrival. No. Thief don't care where you are. You can be in the bathroom, on the toilet, in the tub. When a thief comes, you just know they're there. That's it. Thief don't knock on the bathroom. Yeah. I, I, I just want you to know I'm in here burglarizing your house. That's right. All right, I'll be out. I'll, I'll be out. That's <laughs> right. Thief don't do that. No. When your mind is sound, and I want you to hear me good. Yeah. Nothing and nobody can pull you away from God. That's right. Nobody. When your mind is sound. Coming the church is good because God orders it. That's right. But the church has to be in you. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. You have to be loyal oh, yeah. to God's church. Oh, yes. My mind has to be in here. That's it. My heart got to be in here. For the Bible says that the body is not one member, but many. many. All the members of my physical body got to be in here. That's right. All of it. Not sneak. That's not sneak to the club through the week. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Not go play an instrument in a false stretch and in truth. That's and double minded. Truth. Double minded. That's playing for the devil and trying to serve God. That's right. Get me? A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. All these musicians that we have, brother, that, bra the, that brass band, I felt it all down in my soul. Amen. That's, that's, that's the sound. Yes, sir. That I was looking for. <laughs> Amen. I, I can hear the difference in the sound. Sounds. My ear tried the words. Amen. Amen. I, I heard the sound. Yeah. Oh, thank God, my feet was patting, my heels was patting, my hand was clapping, my head was shaking. Before I know it, I concluded I just do this. <laughs> <laughs> When you're double minded, double minded, a false religion will pay you for your talent. That's right. 
But when you're loyal to God, you have passed up that money. That's right. I cannot play for the devil and God. And God. No man can serve two masters. Two masters. No man. Here yeah, the Bible gives women preachers and I'm an organ player and because they offer me an X amount of money a week, I'm going to get on the organ to back up Mother Mabel. <laughs> Amen. I'm a good tar player, so they offer me $5,000 if I play for someone up singing a solo, talking about holy, holy, holy Lord, God Almighty, blessed Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. My love for money gonna challenge my eternal life. That's right. How strong is your mind and how weak is it? Amen. What is it in your life that you are afraid to lose? That's greater than God. That's right. When you are attached to God, mind, soul, body, spirit. And spirit. I say attached. Attached. Mind, soul, body, and spirit. And spirit. I mean the spirit of God possess your soul. That's right. You are possessed by him. That's right. What you mean? Totally taken over. Totally. And the very God of peace. Listen. In 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 23. The very God of peace. Sanctify you wholly. Set your apart holy. And I pray God your whole spirit. How much? Your whole spirit. How much? Your whole spirit. How much of your spirit? Your whole spirit. And now, all we'll hear about the re come under whole or all of it. All of it. That's whole, right. all of it. That's I right. pray God, your, your whole spirit. I pray God, all of your spirit. And soul. All of your soul. And body. All of your body. Be preserved blameless. Be preserved. That's it. Blameless. Unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. To Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. If your mind is weak, you're weak. Yeah. And if your mind is weak, fast and pray that God strengthen the mind. That's right. In the book of First Thessalonians, sometimes your surroundings yeah. is what affect the strength of your mind. That's right. That's right. The friends you associate with, the company that you keep, company, and some of them are church people. That's true. That's true. No brother that minister should be so close to a false prophet that he know until the false prophet got influence on him. And then he bring that damnable stuff in check. That's right. The only voice that should come out of God's house is God. It's God. Are you listening? That's right. Listen at this. Now in the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 14. That's what? Now we exhort you, brethren. I want to exhort you tonight. Warn them. What? Warn them. Amen. Warn them. We got all these folk in here. There's over 2,000 people in here. <laughs> Amen. I'm warning you. Warning them. Because if the Lord came tonight, how many up to 2,000 would be ready? Mm. There's over 2,000 people in here tonight. Tonight. If the Lord came tonight, how many still would be seated when he appeared up in the heaven? That's right. Including the pulpit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ask God to help your mind. Amen. Ask God to get rid of your mind. Your mind. Your mind will make you out of a liar. That's right. Your mind will make you hate your brother. Yeah. And falsely accuse your sister. That's right. Your mind will make you distant from each other. Yeah. 
God might not make you one. That's right. I believe Jesus prayed concerning his apostles that they all might be one. Might be one. I pray for them which you gave me out of the world. And he prayed that they all might be one. That's right. And when they were one, they all had the same thing, preached the same thing, same thing. practiced the same thing, and didn't differ. That's right. Eh? That's right. Do you hear what he says? In St. John chapter 17 and verse 8. What is it? For I have given them the words which Good thou way, gavest me. Yes. <laughs> Amen. You see, the flesh got its information from the spirit. It ain't two gods there. Yes, sir. He said, I gave them the word that thou gave me. In other words, the spirit made the thing known to the body because the body represents the church and that lets you know in order for the church to get the information, the spirit got to bring it. That's it. That's why how can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent and take the spirit to send him and then put him in the word and then make himself known to the preacher so the preacher can make it known to the church. That's it. That's it, brother. Pastor Paul said, I delivered unto you first of all. Thank God that which I also received. That's right. And For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. I gave them the word. Go ahead. Not even the son of God deviated from what the Holy Ghost said. That's right. And, and they have received them. What? And they have received them. Yes, sir. They didn't it. say they understood them. No. Someone said, well, how can you receive what they didn't understand? They considered what was said. What was said. And God gave them the understanding later. When did he do it? After the resurrection. After, that's then right. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. That's right. Mm -hmm. And have known surely that I came out from thee. And, and they have believed that thou didst send me. They believe. They believe. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostles believe. That's right. That Jesus, the Son of God, was sent That's by it. the Father or the flesh was sent by the Spirit. I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Many of you watching me now, I know what you're about to comment. Pastor Jenny, you preach Jesus Christ as God. So was God praying to himself? No. No. The flesh was praying to the, the spirit, spirit because the flesh is the body and the body represents the church and the church is the Christ. That's right. Showing us what nature we're supposed to pray to. That's we right. don't pray to the body that Mary birthed. We pray to the spirit that made the body. That's right. Yeah. That's right. At no time. That the apostles pray to the flesh. No. The apostles pray to the spirit. To the spirit. Not even the flesh pray to itself. That's right. The flesh pray to the spirit that was not only in heaven, but was in the flesh and in earth and in hell. That's right. The spirit is everywhere. Hallelujah. We will take God. He's higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. Deeper than hell. Yes, Broader than the sea. That's right. Thanks be unto God and longer than the earth. That's right. The Spirit of God is everywhere. I pray for them. He came and left us an example that we should follow us his step. Let you know how to pray. How to pray. And what nature to pray to. That's it. He didn't pray to the human, he prayed to the divine. That's right. Go ahead. Eh? I pray for I them. I pray to them. I, I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I don't pray for the world. But for them which thou but hast for given me. Them that you gave me. For they are thine. They are what? For they are thine. They belong to the Spirit. Now in St. John 17 at verse 20. Eh? Neither pray I for these alone. I'm not only praying for the apostles only. But for them also which shall believe on me. I'm, I, I'm praying for all believers. Through their word. That believe on me through their word. That they all may be one. What? That they all may be one. That's it. That prayer is not just for the apostles. That's right. That prayer is for all believers. That's right. Don't you hear what he said? Neither pray I for these alone. Somebody hear what Pastor Jennings? I'm a believer. If you're a believer, that's bigger than just having faith in God. <laughs> Amen. Faith in God for healing, faith in God for deliverance, faith in God for raising the dead, faith in God for giving you a job. Uh huh. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's good. All right. All right. But you got to believe the letter. That's it. Because the letter is the expressions of God. 
That's right. And you got to believe all the content. That's he that believeth on me as. as. The scripture has said, if that happened, something might happen to you. That's right. That's right. That's what make one go pray and seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. That's it. They believe on him as the scripture have said when that happened, something started working in the belly. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Faith makes me fall on my knees. That's right. Hallelujah. My mind calls me to meditate. That's right. Day and night. Day and night. On the things of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Makes me fall on my knees. Hallelujah. Cry out to him. That's right. Mix up. Hallelujah. Something started moving in me. He that believeth on me. Jesus said, He that believeth on me. As the scripture had said. According to what the word says about him. Out of his belly. Out. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Out of his belly. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Out of his belly shall flow rivers. Shall flow the spirit. Most folk overlook that. Give me the woman at the well quickly. Amen. And whole flow rivers. Amen. Out of his belly shall flow, shall rivers, flow rivers of living Out of his belly shall move the spirit will move the rivers is not natural water it's the spirit of God hallelujah he was at the well with the woman St. John chapter 4 and at verse 10 I said what Jesus answered and said unto her Jesus answered and said to her if thou knewest the gift of God uh -huh. if and you who, knew God gift and who it is that said to thee give me to drink yes thou wouldest have asked of him uh -huh. and he would have given thee living water he would give you living water the woman said for him, this spake he of, of the, the spirit of the spirit yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bible says this spake he of the spirit back in St. John 7 and verse 39 says what but this spake he of the spirit, speaking of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost, the living water is what the Holy Ghost. The living water is what the Holy Ghost. The hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look how the Bible on the day of Pentecost describes the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. There's two words Hallelujah. that I want you to notice. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost bears the title water and bears the title fire. The Holy Ghost is called living water. Living water. And John said, one come after me that's mightier than I shall baptize with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Fire. Naturally, water put out fire. That's right. But when you talk about the Holy Ghost, water is fire. Is fire. When the Bible points to the Holy Ghost as water and the Holy Ghost as fire, fire. it's pointing to functions of the one God. That's right. Let me show you what he does as water. Acts chapter 2 begin at verse 1. Acts 2 and verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come yes. they were all with one accord in one place and, what? and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and, what happened? and it filled what? it filled that's what water does it filled it filled all the house where they were sitting Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the Holy Ghost is called living water living and filled. Filled all the house where they were sitting. Hallelujah. Then what? And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as a fire. Like what? Like as a fire. Then what? And it set upon each of them. Now, the function of the Holy Ghost filled, they were filled with
want to live in water. But then the fire began to burn. That's right. Not naturally burn, but spiritually make the body move. That's and right. respond to the power of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can a man take fire into his bosom and not be burned? That's right. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost bear the title fire, fire and water. And water. Fire, he come to burn, consume. That's right. Water, he come to fill you up. That's right. Hallelujah. Both elements make you move. Oh, yes. One make you move quicker than the other. Water can push you. But a fire gets you to move quicker. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Go say, Hallelujah. Yeah, that's it. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. You see what I'm talking about? Go ahead, brother. What did he say? And they were all filled. They were all filled. Hallelujah. That's it. They were all filled. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they get to speak before the tongue. <laughs> And the spirit, hallelujah, gave utterance. Gave them utterance. You take any fire that burns wood. If the fire go out, you still know that fire was there. Just come past that wood and you can hear some noise. That's right. Crackling. That's right. That's right. You can hear some crackling. Proof that fire was there. That's right. That's why the Spirit of God fills. It's as the rivers of living water, it fills. fills. It rises. That's right. And keep traveling. That's right. And keep traveling until it gets to your mouth. That's right. Then the fire starts walking with your tongue and start changing language. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 It started working. Go ahead, we can brother. talk and then change the language. Go ahead. Hallelujah. That's what you're praying for. That's it. That's what you're tarrying for. That's it. So the water can come. That's it. Trouble the water. Trouble. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead brother. It troubles the water. Hallelujah. Start building up in you. Hallelujah. You have still water. Hallelujah. And you have living water. Living water. You take a pot, put it on the stove. And no flame. Still water. Still water. If you want that water to become trouble, turn the flame on. That's it. Get some heat under it. That's Go it. Hallelujah. Huh? That's right. God want a church where the water is troubled. Go ahead. He don't want no still church. He want a church where the water is troubled. Ask God hey, touch the water. Show me the water. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ask God. Trouble your water. Ask God moving your heart. Stand that spirit down in your soul. Hallelujah. Let God know you don't want to be still. You want that spirit to be troubled. That's right. Let the heat of the Holy Ghost burn in you until your tongue start talking. Hallelujah. And they were all filled. They all filled. Was filled. With the Holy Ghost. Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And began to speak. That water built up. That's right. Living water. That's right. But then they had to burst out the mouth. And began to speak with other tongues. Are you listening? As the Spirit gave them up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
ask God to give you one mind. One. Let the Holy Ghost take over your mind. Ask God to give you his mind. His character. His heart. His way of thinking. Hallelujah. That's right. Ask God to do it. Do it, God. Give me your mind. Give me your heart. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Ask God to give it to you. God to do it. He says, knock and it shall be open. To everyone that asks, receive it. And to him that knock, it shall be open. Hallelujah. If you want the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, ask the Lord to give you that mind. Give that mind. Hallelujah. And you can tell when that mind starting to fall. That's right. You find yourself coming more and more. Hallelujah. That's right. Getting on your knees. Talking to God. Go ahead. My mind is getting better. More and more. I want to be in church. More and more. I want God. What? My mind. Do it. Hallelujah. change. That's right. Hallelujah. So then with that mind to change. Go ahead. Your old mind keep you with old habits. The old mind keep you in that Adamic nature. That's God creating you. A new mind. Hallelujah. And a new heart. Hallelujah. That's right. And a new heart. That's it. Has got to do it. Got to do it. Just like that animal kick and fight. Hallelujah. When the serpent wraps around it, you got to kick, fight, fast, pray, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life. That's it. Where unto thou will also come. That's it. That's right. Satan is calling around many of you. But Satan can be broken. Oh, yes. Yeah. Satan can be broken. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. God rules Satan. You want Satan to be broken? Talk to his boss. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You want Satan to be broken? Talk to his boss. Hallelujah. The Bible said, should we not rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? Hallelujah. You want Satan to be broken? Talk to his boss. He said, I create good and evil. And evil. God is his boss. That's right. Put his boss on him. That's right. Talk to his boss. Let him know how much the devil is bothering you. The boss said, Get this behind me. This behind me. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. Get this behind me. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Get this behind me. Go ahead. The boss don't want Satan to walk next to him. No. Go ahead. Get behind me. Get behind me. In other words, you can't do no more than what I said. That's right. When I said. How I said. That's right. Now take this under consideration. God can give the devil charge to attack you. 
challenge your testimony. Challenge your faith. Challenge your sincerity. But God That's right. is Satan's boss. That's right. He made him and he can break him. He can break him. Are you listening? Amen. Hallelujah. He made him. He can break him. The devil was not made for you to be afraid of him. The only one we're supposed to fear is God. God. That's right. Satan lingers with you as long as God let him. And God had given permission. Why? It makes you break. You ain't praying. You ain't fasting. And Satan is exhausting you. Making you tired. That's right. You see how wise God is? So then, you're starting to go down. And the devil see it. Devil don't want to go. Because now you're going to talk to his boss. That's right. Are you listening? Wonderful. Brother. Wonderful. Don't believe everything the devil bring you. That's right. Don't even think about everything the devil bring you. That's right. Because there's nothing more than a distraction. Amen. They keep you off guard. And they keep you spiritually dysfunctional. That's it. He's a God that's a deliverer. Hallelujah. Stop dwelling on your past. Hallelujah. Stop feeling as though you got to prove to people you're trying to make a change. That's between you and God. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Ask God to give you that one mind. One mind. And when you have that one mind, you will seek God for the Holy Ghost. Wonderful. Out of all your years of fumbling and toiling and Everything. Everything. With that mind, you got to serve. Serve the Lord. The Lord. That's it. Holy That's Ghost it. brought us all something good. Oh, yeah. With that mind. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind. With the mind, I myself serve the law I of God. I myself serve God's law. But with the flesh, with the flesh, the law of sin. That's where the conflict is. Yes, yes. There's another law in your members, in your members. warring against the law of your mind. That's right. Don't you let your members defeat your mind. That's right. Let the spiritual mind break your members. Yeah. Always let the mind of God rule supreme within you. Hallelujah. When it rules supreme, your heart will be convicted. You'll find that man and woman starting to change. Even before, before they even get to water. The Lord start dealing with their mind because he's dealt with their ear. That's right. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. That's right. And God and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, many brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? In the second chapter of Acts, then Peter said unto them, Repent. Yeah. Glory. Glory to God. He wants you to repent. He wants you to be convicted. He wants you to be sorry, brother and sister. 
Repent and be baptized. Time to go down in water. How much? Every one of you. Thanks be unto God, every one of you. In, in the name, name of Jesus Christ. That's the name above all other names. For the remission of sin. You get your sins washed away, and what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, you're filled with God, you're filled with the Spirit of God. That's right. Anybody want to be right tonight? And be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet. If you want to be baptized, stand on your feet. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, follow them in the back. All of you that are standing, glory to God. Wonderful. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. You got to have God mind. Yeah. Amen. Thirty thirty seven was baptized last night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody in the world. Need God's mind. That's right. After you repent of your sins, that mind that led you to water, ask God to help you to keep it. Keep it. You don't want to go to water and knock off. That's right. Ask God to keep that mind. And you'll find yourself after you're baptized seeking Him for the Holy Ghost Amen. with all sincerity. And in the midst of you seeking him, you're striving to obey him. Obey him. For he give the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. That obey him. That obey him. Not those that ignore him. No. And we are his witnesses of these Listen things. At this. In Acts chapter 5 and verse 32. We are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Yes. Whom God has given to them. God has given to them. That obey him. Amen. God give the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. Seek the Lord. Believe in him. Trust in him. But obey him. Obedience. Better than sacrifice. Better than all your singing or jumping or shouting. That's right. 